quick tutorials. We don't waste time. What computer should I use? For video editing, your biggest concern is the processor. The video card? No, you think it would be, but it's actually not. Video card's good for stuff like Photoshop or having multiple monitors or gaming. After Effects, the video card will be really helpful for that, but but straight up nonlinear editing and exporting? No, that's the processor. The video card tops it off by relieving some stress off the processor, but for the most part, you're going to want an i7. They're really good for video editing. Should you overclock your processor? Yes, because even if it's only going to last you three years, they're not that hard to replace. One, and two, the speed difference is worth it. You're probably not going to have the computer for three years. Computers become obsolete every like 18 months. And by the time it does die on you, you're going to have bought a new computer with new technology anyways. I got all my stuff from Fry's Electronics, and if you have one nearby you, you're in luck. If not... Um, I wouldn't recommend walking into Best Buy or somewhere like that. They're going to charge you, you know, twice as much as you ought to be paying for this thing. Fry's Electronics happens to price match. Otherwise, I would get everything off of Amazon or Newegg. But I printed off the Amazon and Newegg prices and walked into the store, and they honored everything. So here's my parts list. Actually, let's just skip that and mention what made the biggest difference. A 500 gigabyte Samsung 840 solid state drive. What is that? So a regular HDD hard drive disk, there's moving parts on the inside. So you have to get it going before you can read it. It has to spin and it has to read. The exact same way a CD works. Solid state drive is a chip. It's like running your operating system off of an SD card or something. It's instant. There's no spinning gears and moving mechanical parts. It's just, you know, all right there. Why doesn't everyone have a solid state drive? Well, they're really expensive. So I have a 500 gigabyte one and it cost me $300. On a normal hard drive, you're looking at read speeds of like 80 megabytes per second and write speeds of 20. On this solid state drive, my read speeds are 580 megabytes per second. Instantaneous. Write speeds are like 330. But I wouldn't recommend writing on this thing. Not a lot. That's what really wears your solid state drive down. It's just that if you can avoid it, you should. Reading is just using all your programs, accessing files. Writing would be copying files or adding new stuff to the drive. So how am I setting it up? I have my operating system alone on the solid state drive and two one terabyte internal hard drives to store all my data. Back to the parts list. I bought an i7-3820 at 3.6 gigahertz and I overclocked that to 4.5 gigahertz. And that was 300 bucks. Asus P9X79 motherboard, 300 bucks. 16 gigabytes of Patriot, 1866 megahertz DDR3 RAM, $130. Two one terabyte Western Digital Blacks, $200. Thermal take, I forget what the hell kind of case, $150. I upped the power supply to compensate for all this stuff to 700 watts. A Thermal take T2 700 watt power supply. I wouldn't recommend buying a Thermal take T2. I hear they're really shitty actually. I'm probably going to return mine ungodly amounts of porn and an nzxt respire t2 it's a cooler master cpu cooler that was only 40 bucks last but not least a gtx 660 ti video card from pny and that was about 280 dollars in total it cost me like 1800 bucks so how well does it work okay so here i am on a cold boot um starting from zero the scariest part about building a computer is always the first time you turn it on it's always, um, once you put everything together, you know, you plug it in, you don't know if it's going to be, you're going to hear a little click, and then everything's fried, or you're going to, you know, um, it's just not going to come on, then you have to disassemble, disassemble the whole thing, and then, um, or what the hell is going to go on, but, so here we're going to time this thing, um, starting windows, oh god. Okay. And one and two and three. Immediately, we're ready to go. After Effects, Photoshop, Premiere. All these are instant. Let's close this. So Photoshop's like this. Open, close, open, close. Let's go to Premiere. Open, close, open, close. I mean, it, it, it runs like super. I'm just going to open everything. And all of them are up, ready to go. <laughs> Woo! Photoshop opens like Chrome. Premiere takes less than three seconds to open. I don't think this is the processor, actually. That's not too different from what I had before. It's the solid state drive. That's not what I'm too concerned with. Now we can really stress test this thing for what it was built for. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. I probably noticed the biggest difference between internet speed. A lot of processors and hard drives are bottlenecking internet speed, so paying for super fast internet might not be necessary if your computer can't load it that fast anyways. 
And I didn't notice how fast the internet was either until now. I didn't expect to see any changes in quality. I was already working at 1080p. Editing is so great. Uh, it's still not ultra smooth, but I do not get hangups like I used to. I can slide this thing back and forth, run Premiere, Photoshop, and After Effects at the same time, each rendering something different, and there's no difference in performance. And this choppiness is a huge issue with DSLR footage, too. Now that I have this $2,000 computer, I can use professional folder names like What a Nigga Be Working With and Videos Real Talk. Do you need a computer like this to do good? No, not at all. I had a pre-built $900 gateway. I still had an i7, but it worked completely fine for video editing. I'm just really spoiled. And you know I like my shit quick. Overall satisfaction, 9.5 out of 10. Uh, only because I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna kill me in my sleep and enslave the human race. I call him Megatron. So what have we learned today? Processor priority, solid state drive is gonna make the biggest difference in everything. Buy a weapon in case your computer realizes it's smarter than you and tries to turn on you. This has been a quick tutorial about computer shit. My name is Alex Harris.